Hey, it's Brad from The Digital Plan. Excited to talk to you, of course, as always, about what we've got coming up this week uh, in our trainings here on The Digital Plan. We've got some great stuff planned once again and some brand new trainings. Um, first brand new one, and I guess uh, first thing I do, do wanna take a pause to mention the, the less exciting things happening uh, in the country. Uh, hearts go out to everyone down in the Carolinas and, and Northern Virginia who have the, um, the floods coming in. Um, you know, a uh, little prayer uh, and, and uh, big thanks to uh, all the first responders and community members stepping up. I think it's a beautiful part of our ability to come together. Um, and so um, talking about things we can do to keep bringing people together and engaging folks. Um, video storyboards is uh, is a big part of, um, or is, is a brand new training that we're doing. Um, so uh, I know a lot of folks who are working in nonprofits and political campaigns. Um, th there's a huge demand on us to create more and more video to to tell story to engage folks and and social media algorithms have a preference for it, right like facebook is basically demanding you make more video and scripting and storyboarding are things that are probably new to a lot of folks and so uh one of the first trainings we're going to be doing on video specifically is video storyboards and a template um so this template i put together a, a problem i've seen over the years is just um trying to create a storyboard, a handwritten storyboard. A lot of folks are trained to do a handwritten sketched out storyboard. That's hard to get feedback on and hard to share. And then there are all these other ways to storyboard and paid apps and, and that's just too much to onboard. And trying to get someone to give feedback in other ways is, is, is hard. So we're actually gonna show you how to create a storyboard with Google Slides, provide you with a template and some real strategy into how you put this together and put it out in the real world. Um, and then we're gonna do website planning. So we haven't done this one in probably about three months. Um, very similar to our digital project planning blueprint, but this one's gonna be specific on websites. So we clear out the other stuff and really just focus in on the sections you would need in a blueprint uh, template to just to put together the, the framework and structure for planning a new website. So um, this one is, is critical and I think it's one of the things you just, you wanna know about and have in your utility tool belt, whether you're doing, um, you know, a micro site, like a little one page, a, a landing page that operates as a full website or, you know, a multi-page micro site, or you're, you know, building a robust brand new website. Um, having something like this in your digital utility belt is gonna go a long way for you. And then um, we launched our, our Slack about a month back. And so the community Slack, uh, it's just a great place to go a little bit deeper, engage with others, have some conversation. Um, we had some of our kind of our first good conversations starting last week. Um, and, you know, and these things take a little time, time to build. So it's actually a good experience to come in and uh, engage with the community Slack and think about how you may want to do it for your own organization. Um, I definitely, you know, throw some other best practices and articles that I see in there. And it's a place where it's a little easier to actually engage and have conversation with one another. So we'll be, we'll be throwing some other content in there and trying to help foster conversation. And then of course, folks who are taking courses will have some private channels in there so you can collaborate with folks that you're in a course with. And um, talking about the courses, we've got some exciting stuff in the works. We're gonna have another peer-to-peer uh, -peer text messaging hustle 201 training coming up in the next week or two. Um, and then we're also rolling out an end of year training. We should have that announcement up the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So end of year uh, fundraising training all about digital strategy and how to implement a strategy. And what's really exciting about this one is we're actually gonna offer some hands-on coaching in that as well. So we'll go in a little bit more depth uh, next week about what we're offering with that. And um, we've got a, another great email uh, our first self-paced course beyond the hustle courses will also be coming up uh, next week. And, uh, and don't forget, we also have a recording um, of social media for executive directors. So make sure you check that out, share it with your folks. That one is still free and live to everyone. It's part of our, our open access library. So it's there in the resources uh, and you can find it in emails and uh, in other good places. So Thanks so much for being a community member. We always love your feedback. So, you know, you can come in, uh, join the Slack. Anyone can join the Slack. You don't have to be a paid member uh, of the training community, but you can jump in there, um, give us your feedback. Let, you know, let us know what you're looking for, the trainings you're looking for. And right on the website too, if there's other trainings and, and anytime, just email support at. We'd love to hear what's working, not working. Are there courses you'd love to see? Are there one-off webinars like we do every week that you'd love to see? So let us know, um, you know what, what you're looking for and we'd love to help build it out for you.